What's up everybody, Clayton here, hope all is well. Just want to take a few minutes and I know it's been a little while. We've been building up, uh, adding more components to this uh, setup that we have here, as well as getting my broadcast system up and running. Uh, today, what I wanted to do is just uh, show you a couple of things that I do around the kit to help uh, give me better control sensitivity around the drum set. So with that being said, um, uh, sometimes you can find yourself fighting with the audio and um, thinking that you have to play harder to bring out more dynamics when um, in your mindset you have to kind of like train your body to relax. relax and be able to go around this kit and like I told some of you guys, train your mindset to think of, let the acoustic kit go and just concentrate on your experiences over the years and apply it to this drum set, okay? With that being said, if I turn on the snare, all right, here's the snare cam. So basically, I have the threshold set kind of high on this uh, drum so that you got to really accent it in order to get a, a, a response, a, a sound response. So if I was just ghosting, if you notice, you don't hear nothing. But as soon as I trigger hard, you actually hear the drum. So that's that's purposeful so you want to apply that to the drum set so it'll sound something like this So if you hear, I'm using the ghost notes to, to make me play stable, but at the same time, I just want the accents to be recorded. So that's the purpose of adding a higher threshold to get that response. And that's just a dial of the, of the wheel, just hitting trigger and then going over to um, the threshold using your arrow, arrow down and like I said, make sure your chase is on to get that particular drum and dial it up until you don't get a response. And then you have to train yourself to know where I need to play light. And then when I need to get an accent, come down a little bit harder. So I just hope that's a nugget, a tip for, for you guys to uh, use. Um, it's the same way if I was recording on um, my main snare here, um, I can go in and set the threshold. So I got it kind of really light here, no response. But then I get a response, you know, as I increase uh, my power. Uh, this is something that I do to help me practice on um, uh, accuracy, uh, also familiarizing myself with where I have things placed and to relax so that my muscles can memorize my movements as I go around this kit. So I put on a click, uh, eighth note triplets, and nothing planned. Just go around, make sure you touch every drum. Uh, you can groove. Uh, or you can just just try to lock in uh, to the click as much as possible. So it just sounds something like this. So 
So yeah, you just go around, just put notes everywhere and just try to lock it down. Um, and then one of the things that you want to uh, self gut check yourself, meaning that where do you fit in time? Uh, typically for me, I'm a little naturally behind the beat uh, in my plan. Uh, some people are like dead on where you can't even hear the click. They just buried it, buried. And I naturally, I'm naturally not that. I'm about, I don't know, maybe five or six milliseconds behind, uh, depending on um, learn how to push when I need to push, relax when I need to relax. So, um, but yeah, so um, those are the nuggets for the day. I hope all is well with you guys out there. If you get a chance, please like, subscribe, join this page. Um, you know, it'll help us out tremendously.